Hi, I'm Jane King, and this is New to the Street in person back here at the NASDAQ market site in New York City. The show is all about public, private, and blockchain companies. How the CEOs, the founders, and the innovators bringing you lots of opportunities to consider. Here we go. Global is an insured tech company transforming the traditional insurance company and agency model. And with me is Grant Barr, the Senior Vice President of Operations, uh, to explain this. So provide an overview of Reliance Global and what's the core operations. Sure, Jane. So thanks for having me today. Reliance Global Group uh, started out with an aggressive acquisition strategy, primarily focused in the insurance space. They've been extremely, we've been extremely successful uh, in acquiring some very high quality entities. And to this day, they perform very well. Uh, Reliance Global Group, now that we've acquired these entities, one of the most recent acquisitions being Rely Exchange, uh, has given us um, a turning point, a pivot point. Uh, that's allowed us to bring all those entities that we've acquired together under a one firm vision. So now that we've started to bring those entities together under a one firm vision, um, you're going to see our ability to leverage the synergies within the other organizations that we've acquired through our Relay Exchange agency partner network move very quickly. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like acquisitions has been one of the main things behind the growth uh, that you've been doing. I mean, is, is that uh, what you would attribute the growth to? And do you anticipate that continuing? So I would actually contribute the growth to uh, acquisitions, of course, um, being a piece of that, because without the acquisitions, we wouldn't have uh, Relay Exchange and the other entities um, that we're going to be able to enhance our Relay Exchange offering offering with. So, our growth has really contributed to our existing companies that we that we've acquired. Um, we have an incredibly strong management team uh, at the home office. The executive team is extremely hardworking and very smart and dedicated to accomplishing the growth plan. They've been executing on it well. And because of that, our field leadership, who is who's unbelievable, our field leadership, I'm very impressed with the individuals we have heading the individual entities in the field and their ability to execute on each individual entity plan has really is really one of the main reasons we've experienced that growth. Mm -hmm. And we have some very large, very profitable opportunities uh, in our pipeline. Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited about the opportunity with how they fit into our overall growth plan uh, with Reliance Global Group. And another key factor that assuming we're able to close on one of these opportunities, it will also close any operational income gaps that we have within the company. Okay. Where can somebody go, whether they're on the agency side, investor side, where can they go to find out more about Reliance Global? So Reliance Global Group is uh, traded um, on the stock exchange as R-E-L-I, so that should be one of the first places they look. But if you go to www.reliancegloballoup.com, uh, if, you, if you can't spell that out, just Google Reliance Global Group. It should be the first <laughs> yep. one that pops up. If you scroll down to the bottom of the page, there's an area in which you can subscribe to any of the investor information that goes out. And I highly encourage that because then you're up to date and you're getting any of that information as it's released to the public. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Grant, for coming by. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks Jane. Uh -huh.
SMX is using blockchain to track and trace a variety of industries, items in these industries. And with me is H. Alanda, the CEO of SMX Technology. And we're talking about plastics today. We've talked about metals in the past, but plastics is another area that your technology works. So talk to me about that. Why track and trace plastic? So I think after the global pandemia and the supply chain challenges, the world has got to a very clear conclusion that we cannot survive without plastics. Mm. And now the question is, how can we do it in a responsible way? Because talking about a world without plastic isn't relevant. Our technology, our technology with our ability to give materials memory mm -hmm. is part of finding this kind of solution to this new understanding. Because we give plastic a memory at virgin stage, at product stage, and then at waste stage. And by that, we create the opportunity to use plastics more than once. So it tells you, I guess, what the, the raw material is, because there are different things that go into plastic. So it'll tell you that, whether it's been recycled. Why, how is that information beneficial? The information is beneficial because plastics, unlike metals, their properties degrade the more you use them. Not only that, different plastics are used for different purposes. This is for food, this is for medicine, this is for automotive construction. With our ability to give plastic a memory, you are able to use the right plastic for the right purpose and more than once. And more than that, being able to be transparent to all of your stakeholders, clients, regulators, as for the correct amount of recycled plastic content in every plastic product. Oh, interesting. So there's some authenticity that it provides as well as to the sustainability of, of the product that you're using. What we actually create, and you, you touched a strategic point, is the ability to grade and to certify plastic, not by human and by, or by paper, but by technology, by science. And then finally, you talked about how um, EU is not going to be able to ship plastic to other countries. They have to keep it there. The U.S. may follow. Um, this will allow countries to, to better recycle so they don't have all this trash. Right? I think what we will see here is that a problem becomes an advantage. Mm -hmm. Today, plastic, plastic waste is treated as a problem, and therefore countries are trying to ship it out to avoid dealing with it. Now, when this needs to stop, and I assume US will follow Europe, reusing the plastic will become the key advantage of American companies. Okay, interesting. Echelon, thank you so much for coming thank back. Thank you very much, and as we like to say, don't stop thinking about tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>Inc. is a full-stack quantum software and hardware company on a mission to accelerate the value of quantum computing for real-world business solutions. And with me is Hunter Gaylor, co-host and new to the street, and Bob Laskowski, the CEO of Quantum Computing. So great to have you back. Thanks, and Jane. Let's just start with this major news. A Nobel Prize was awarded for photonic quantum entanglement. So explain that and how does that vindicate the work that you're doing? Well, it, it, it really, uh, it's, it's great. It's uh... Um, the whole notion of entanglement has been debated for a long time. Right? It goes back to Einstein, didn't believe that entanglement existed. He thought there were other variables, hidden variables, that ultimately were responsible for these, like what he, he said were spooky actions, right? That's the way he termed it. But uh, the work that was done by the, by the awardees just validated the fact that you can entangle photons, and, and that's the, the essence of quantum computing. 
And it's a, it's a deep science, right? But at the end of the day, for us, it's very validating. It, it proves that a couple things. A, photonic computing is real. This notion of entanglement is a real thing. And the business applications of what that ultimately will empower for us to be able to take this into the marketplace uh, is really, for, again, I just can use the word validating because it's just, it's, it's great. To, hear, to see that uh, kind of announcement come out and recognize the hard work that these men have done. Yeah. Well, you recently had with one of your subsidiaries some news come out with regards to um, you know uh, this NASA contract. Can mm -hmm. you talk about a little bit about how your company is working on that contract and sure. what that means for the growth of your company? Sure. That, I mean, it's really the first meaningful commercial or contract we've had on that work and or any of that work, any of the quantum work really and. So it's two things. Number one, uh, it again validates the need for these types of technologies, the things we can do with photonics, LIDAR in particular, it's, that's what this contract is. It's helping us further um, refine the LIDAR capability that can be used from space to determine snow depth from space. That has environmental impact, obviously. There's some other uses for it. There's sort of dual use capabilities there. But um, it's very, again, I use the word validating several times here, but it really is. It's, it's confirmation that the work we're doing is really, is really good work, right? And it has commercial and, in this case, scientific uh, applications to it. Um, but to your point about the establishment of the wholly owned subsidiary, we needed that mechanism to be able to do business with the government. Um, you know, you can have commercial companies do business with the government, but in this environment, particularly with the sensitive uh, technologies that we're using, the government has its requirements that it wants to see companies that are U.S. owned, have U.S. personnel in them that they can trust, obviously, uh, for sensitive technologies to be able to do the contract work. So we established uh, key solutions, QI solutions, um, as that mechanism. Uh, it's headed up by a veteran, uh, 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 a very proven leader in this space coming out of the DOD environment that um, has done companies like this in the past, transferring technologies from commercial into military or uh, scientific use. But the, the important thing is we have a mechanism now by which we can transfer our capabilities to government contracts. And we expect a lot more coming on the heels of that. It's incredible to see the company and where it's going from when we first started talking with Bob to now and actually seeing you know, the headlines and the news and the awarding of these contracts, I think it's a testament to what they're doing and what the future of quantum is. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, we've got a great team. No, with, without, you know, I think we've got the best team in the industry to be quite candid with. I would say that. But honestly, I think we really do because we're, we're bringing the technology to the marketplace. And candidly, we are ahead of the competition, both computationally, and that's the benefit of the company, right? The company is not just a one-trick pony. We're not just doing computational stuff, right? It's just not about creating a quantum computer. We have all these adjacent quantum technologies and these solutions which we're bringing to the marketplace that really, it's unparalleled to anybody else that can do this. We're, I think, one of the few companies, if not the only company, doing this today. So we have a very broad base in the market. We're, ex we're ex uh, executing on the quantum computers that we're, we're, we talked about the last time, the Entropy quantum computer, mm -hmm. our Dirac 1. We're going to be releasing our Dirac 2. Both optimization capabilities. One does cu uh, uh, Cubo. Um, or a quadratic uh, unconstrained binary optimization. The other one does integer-based optimization. Uh, different problem sets. In fact, the integer one is a much more complex optimization capability. It's going to hit the um, market and it's going to be used for supply chain, logistics, really, really complex problems. Mm -hmm. So it's amazing, right? It's yeah. just an op it's a great opportunity for this company. It, it is amazing, and it's amazing to imagine, and, and it feels like some real world applications are. Too, are starting to yep. come to fruition. So. That's for sure. Yeah, very exciting. Yeah, thank you so much, Bob, and great thank you, you again. Hunter, as well. Thank you, absolutely, yes. thanks. thanks. Mm -hmm. Lameness issues, joint pain, and osteoarthritis can be difficult to treat and debilitating for an animal's health and well-being. Take control of lameness issues and joint pain. Introducing Spring with OsteoCushion technology. With just one injection, Spring with OsteoCushion technology targets the root cause of lameness issues, joint pain, and osteoarthritis, helping animals do what they do best. Hi everybody, I'm Anna Berry and this is New to the Street Game Changers. Today we are talking about Warp Speed Taxi Inc. It trades under the symbol WRPT, an all-in-one software solution for ride hailing, food delivery, and courier services. 
Joining me on Game Changers is Hunter Gaylord, co-host for New to the Street and spokesperson for Warp Speed Taxi. Welcome, Hunter. How are you today? And it's such a pleasure to be with you. Thank you so much for having me. Well, this is an exciting segment because on Game Changers, we focus on companies creating solutions and and in the game, changing the game. Now, let's talk about the world, surging gas prices, supply chain issues, environmental awareness, and just an overall global market instability. So how is this technology addressing these real-time issues, and what are the solutions that it's providing? Describe the company and its business model, Hunter. Well, you know, what's really interesting about this company, Anna, that that I really like is the fact that it's the future of transportation. They've combined a all-in-one ride-hailing app with food, grocery, courier, courier delivery. Uh, they've created an all-in-one application, it, and it's more affordable for both consumers and businesses. And, and, and as you said, you know, they're publicly traded. They're trading on the US OTC market under the symbol uh, uh, WRPT. But unlike other taxi or delivery models, their main priority is making the life easier, providing with the fastest way to get to your location on time. And, and I, and, and basically, and in no time, might I add. So it really in front of a technology. And let's let's hash that out a little bit more. So there a lot have of developments have happened over the past few years. Let's also talk about the next five years. What's on the horizon for warp speed? Well, you know, there's some very interesting developments going on with the company and and it, they're doing business with a, a company called Pinnacle uh, DSB, which is going to be a major distribution uh, center in major cities. Uh, which are mainly surrounded by rural towns and rural areas. And so the, the customers that rely on the local shops for their everyday needs, um, Pinnacle DVS will be that kind of distribution center for supplying very fast moving um, products to these local shops. So obviously that talks about inventory management, where they're able to go with the company uh, and really be able to scale very, very, very quickly. So a retailer can essentially purchase items in real time, and they would be able to get their deliveries on a weekly basis. And this is a business to business application, Anna, which is really good. It's going to cut down on gas prices. It's going to cut down on a lot of the logistical overhead that is required with most delivery and supply chain companies. Um, and and really, when you look at it, not in in non Western countries, it'll be huge. So you know, a lot of these 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 developing nation states, their platform is so comprehensive. Uh, it, it should be very successful when they open distribution centers. They can very rapidly serve the needs of rural communities very, very quickly for delivery. Oh, I can see that spreading like wildfire in a good way. So, yes. Now, Hunter, is this application ready for public use? If our viewers are interested in using it right now, can they? They are. There, there, there are um, licensing agreements uh, in conversation right now. Uh, there, there is the app on the App Store on the Google Play to go to Google Play. Uh, but stay tuned to the website for people because that's where a lot of the information is coming out. You're going to hear a lot more on the company. We're going to be following this company uh, very closely, Anna, where we're going to be talking about where they're at, where they're going, and when it's going to be in an area near you. Um, and that's really what we want our, 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 our customers and our clients and, and people to look at because... Uh, obviously, we're growing like any other business, and and their company is growing. They're making some really, really good milestones. But, um, you know, really, it's those long distance rides, the courier delivery, and we will be following when and where they're they're launching. Just not in the U.S., but also worldwide. Right, a global launch very soon, and this is a real exciting company to follow. A major demand for this, and they are definitely game changers. So, Warp Speed Taxi, Hunter, great speaking with you today on Game Changers. Thanks for joining us. Always a pleasure, Anna. Thank you so much. And once again, we just encourage our our, our listeners and the viewers to go check out Warp Speed Taxi. Look at their website, follow the stock symbol. But it's definitely going to be a very interesting company to follow. We're very excited to cover them on Game Changers. Perfect. Thanks so much for watching. Secure, the true solution for your digital privacy and security. Secure is a private and secure messaging and email solution hosted in Switzerland. Using proprietary military-grade encryption and Swiss privacy laws, giving you true privacy. Secure doesn't collect or sell your data and doesn't require your phone number or any personal data that hackers target. You can message and email non-secure users privately without the need for others to download Secure. Visit secure.com. Regain and protect your privacy today.
Welcome everyone to the weekly hack, the secure privacy and security segment. I'm Anna Berry, along with Alain Guy, the CEO of Secure. All right, Alain, summer is almost here, and that means a lot of travel is upon us. Um, but there's a new warning by the FBI warning us to avoid using free public Wi-Fi charging stations. So I want to know how can hackers get into these public charging stations, especially with our USB? Is that how they're getting in? Yeah, so, you know, you have now the traveling season first for business people. It just started. Then you had the holiday and then obviously summer coming up. Travel is increasing. And, you know, USB ports are meant to transfer data. They also charge your device. But when you think about it, you can also transfer data. You may have photos on a laptop and you want to transfer to a phone or vice versa. That's the kind of cable that you get. So they found a way to siphon your data when you plug in into, I mean, it could be anything. I think a year or two ago, we talked about airport seats that have these USB plug-in. You know, I wouldn't be surprised somebody tampered with some seats. And I mean, who knows? These criminal organizations are big. So they could be as little as don't plug into the airport seat. The best thing to do is really to have your own real outlet charger, if you can and plug it into an outlet. I do realize that it, they're not very common, but more and more in airports, they have these outlets as well. Yeah, that's a huge problem. People go on public phone and just charge for free. And that's, uh, that's the new thing. And they're siphoning your entire data. Right, and there are portable charging devices out there that I often carry with me when I travel. It's it's a hard habit to change, but it's an important habit to change, especially when it comes to public Wi-Fi too. You warn a lot about that. Don't join public Wi-Fi. Quickly tell us why. Yeah, public Wi-Fi, even the so-called secured ones, are not secure to a level that is uh, a point that a hacker can't get in. You may have some very basic of the shelf encryption or a password that's super easy to understand if you go to a coffee shop and you have staff that's you know churning over all the time uh, and you're gonna ask somebody what's your password they barely know it so it has to be something easy these passwords don't even change every day uh, so don't use a wi-fi even with a password and a great way to essentially encrypt your connection you either use your uh, your regular 5g uh, so your your mobile data thing or use a vpn like the one we just launched it does encrypt your internet connection that's a perfect seg segue into the launch of your vpn congratulations on that i know that recently happened so talk to us about it and i know that there is a promo code for our eager uh, listeners out there yeah, so secure VPN is follows the same concept as all our secure solutions. It's Swiss hosted only, our own uh, machines. So that means we don't host in hyperscaler or big techs. We have our own infrastructure, and um, we also don't you don't offer secondary services. A lot of these VPN have other solutions that they offer you know, antivirus and whatnot, but what people don't understand is those are third parties and the VPN provider essentially sells your information to the antivirus or, or ad blocker. We, we have none of that. It's super easy. You can go to securevpn.com, register, you sign up, and then you basically download on iOS or Android, or you can even go to secure.com and we have now a little button that says secure VPN that'll take you to the VPN website. It's extremely easy to use. You sign up, you download the application, and you, you kind of pull a push a plug thing. And that's it. Literally, you tap your screen. And all your connection goes through our multiple Swiss IP addresses. We don't log anything. We have no connection to any third party no China connection, no big tech, nothing of that sort. And we don't even look at your traffic. We don't even register your device idea. So one account can get you five devices. Uh, it's normally $7 a month. Uh, you can use our usual code privacy for 15% off any of our plan for the next five years. 
Wonderful. Privacy is the code for the new secure VPN. This is such valuable service that you're providing everyone. I, as we've talked about it for years now, it's only going to get worse. So privacy has arrived with secure and I've learned so much in these conversations with you. So there you go. And I'm using it right now. It's literally you tap on and tap off and you're in. Perfect. Wonderful. Well, great speaking with you as always, Elaine. Thanks, Tana. Thanks, everyone, for watching. See you next week.